Hey, it's me. So, delicious is the word for today. I, I hope. <laughs> Basically, I'm hungry. I wanna eat and I need to make a video at the same time. So what, what am, am I, I gonna, gonna do? do? I'm gonna eat while I make a video. If you don't know this about me, let me just share it because it's truly fascinating and I know it's gonna change your, your entire, entire life. I like snack boxes. That was, that's it. I also like art. I'm taking snack boxes, I'm taking art. I'm combining them into a new idea for a video. So, I, I don't know. I don't know why I feel like I need to be on trial justifying why I'm making this video. Like nobody's attacking me. But what if they do? Anyway, okay, let's open a snack box, eat snacks, and be inspired to make art based on the snacks I am consuming. Does that make sense? After I came up with this idea, I realized, oh, I think that there is somebody who does a series like this somewhere on YouTube. I'm so so sorry. I'll find that video and put it somewhere. Virtually impossible to come up with a completely original idea that nobody else has ever touched. And that's okay. We, we can, can coexist, coexist peacefully. Let's just get into this. My box, my, my box, box baby. baby, my snack baby, my snack baby box. It is from Universal Yums. I have not eaten anything today. Breakfast. I'm not gonna eat all of this. Right. We'll see. Oh, the places you'll snack. Cute, fun. And whoo, the snacks, <gasps> lovely. Oh, I see chocolate and chocolate. This is great. I'm hungry. I wanna eat it all. I'm not gonna eat this all, right? Options though, there's so many options. How do I choose? I don't have a process. What am I doing? Maybe I'll just pick something at random. What is this? Fried egg flavored potato chips. Does fried egg even really have a flavor? I don't know how appealing that sounds to me. Also, if I'm making art out of it, a fried egg character, I think Gudetama has really got that locked down. I don't think that I wanna step on his yolk toes. Either way, I'm curious about these. These are from Spain. Weird. I didn't think fried egg had much of a flavor, but clearly it does, because this tastes just like a fried egg. I don't know that an egg needed to be converted into a chip. I want another one. But I think I'm just hungry. I'm not gonna touch the fried egg for inspiration for a character, though. I just can't do Gudetama like that. Dig deep. <gasps> I'm big into chocolate. Chocolatey coated wafer bar with almonds. How could this be bad? Thick snack. Whoa. Big chocolate. Wow, so good, that's really good. <laughs> Flavor of this is amazing. However, it kind of just looks like a brown brick. It's not that inspiring. I'm just gonna keep eating until I either get inspired or sick. Popcorn truffles, what? These look cool. Cocoa dusted truffles with popcorn pieces from France. Where's the popcorn? I thought that it was gonna be like the little popcorn guy. There was gonna be like popcorn on the outside, but there's no popcorn. It just kind of looks like a small turd. Like a hard stool. Let's try it. I don't really taste popcorn. I just kind of taste like bitter cocoa and burnt. Visually, it's just poop. I didn't really think about the fact that if I'm eating a bunch of chocolate snacks, it's just gonna be like poop. Like what kind of character can I make from this? A poop character, a turd? A character who swims in a toilet bowl. I'm not inspired yet. Let's keep going. This is called the yum bag. And it's just like a lot of different things. I feel like this all has potential. Let's try this one. Marzipan flavored fudge. Mm. Tastes like a really dry, stale caramel with a slight almondy aftertaste. Not my favorite. Does this have a lobster on it? Cocoa peanut filled crunchy candy. Tastes like eating just the inside of a Butterfinger. Okay, yep, yep. Maybe. Who else? Cookie dough. Yeah. Cookie dough filled truffle. How could that be bad? Hmm. It's good, but it tastes nothing like cookie dough. It tastes like churro. Mmm, but it's good. And last in the yum bag. These assorted sour fruit chews. Apple. Mmm. Not intensely sour. What does grape look like? They all look the same. Yeah, I mean, those taste exactly how you would expect. Fruity, slightly sour. What is this fruit? M Maracuja? Oh, why is it so vulnerable to attempt to pronounce something that you don't know how to pronounce? I don't know what it is. Don't recognize it. What is this fruit? Mm -hmm. It's good. It tastes like strawberry. It doesn't taste like anything wild. You know what? I think I've eaten enough. I need to get inspired now. That's enough. We gotta make this happen, okay? I can't just eat the whole time and then say bye. 
Let's try to make some art. What should I draw? <laughs> I kind of like the cookie dough. I haven't done a good cookie dough character in a while. In fact, have I ever done a cookie dough character? Maybe I should do a cookie dough character. When I think cookie dough, I think ice cream. So I feel like I wanna make him like dripping and kind of like blob-ish, but maybe not my typical blob shape. And he's gonna be standing in his own puddle of goo. It's always a good quality. These are supposed to be drips, but <laughs> maybe they're too big. That is not okay. Something like that. Maybe. These are supposed to be his arms, but I don't like them. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I don't know. How should we do his arms? <gasps> maybe he's a butterfly. Maybe he's a cookie dough. Butterfly, He's, he doesn't have arms. Maybe they're like long. <laughs> Why is there like a leaf on the packaging? What does the leaf have to do with cookie dough? Maybe I'll just do the eyes. We're going cross-eyed. Maybe his arms are up like this. Now he's starting to look like a ghost. He's not a ghost. Maybe his arms are like that. I feel like since this thing actually tasted like cinnamon, maybe some little twisty things coming from his head. I'm eating again. Let's just move into phase two, okay? So let me do a more cleaned up outline for this. Here he is, he's kind of cute. I went a little heavy handed on the line weight. It's pretty bold. Kind of wish I had backed off a little bit there. I want to keep these things fun and not be overly obsessive about every single little thing. I feel like it would be better if the line were brown though. No. No, stop it. It's cute. I'm gonna just color him in then. We are gonna do some vanilla ice cream. Yeah, those colors are kind of similar. I wanna make him look cookie dough now. Add some little chocolate chips. I wanna give a little bit of depth to his eyes. His pupils are shaped like chocolate chips. Oh, that's cute. I like his little eyes. I'm gonna do some basic, basic shading on him. He's looking a little pale, so I wanna add some little cheeks to him. Pull back, pull back a little bit. There we go. He needs a tongue. Add a nice fresh little blue background and his name is Cookie. Cookie. Yeah. It's kind of like inspired, you see? Look, he's eating it. <laughs> this did not take me that long, but I actually kind of like him. He's kind of like a blob, but he's a little taller and his limbs are longer. I'm not really sure what species he is. I don't know if we should really worry about it all that much, but he's cute, right? That was fun. I enjoyed it. Cool. Let's do another one, shall we? How about one for the sour candy? Grapefruit? I didn't even see the grapefruit one. That tastes really accurate like grapefruit. Shall I make a sour grapefruit character? Should I make it like an actual grapefruit or should I just make it a grapefruit themed character? A character that's themed like a grapefruit. I don't want to do another blob, that's too... Amazing. <laughs> I'm not gonna do another blob. What's a good sour character? Which animal would be most likely to do the butthole lips? Uh, fish? Not a fish. I wanna bite this and I shouldn't. What animal has like a sour personality? A cat, but I do so many cats. They're excellent. Okay, I'm sorry. It's, it's gotta, gotta be, be a cat. cat. I feel like she's real round. Cause you know, grapefruit or round, kinda like, Okay, no, 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 no. She's, stop it. <gasps> so dramatic. She's gonna have real tiny little cat ears and then a little tiny tail. Oh, that's not tiny at all. Oh, I kind of like it fluffy though. Paws are gonna be kind of resting at her side. This is looking really weird. I don't like it. Maybe her arms are higher up. What the heck am I doing? What is that? That's kind of ridiculous. Oh, that's better. That works for me. She has got a sour attitude. I like this kind of lime green that's on the packaging. I feel like maybe incorporating this color. How do I make it look grapefruit? Should I literally put like grapefruit? <laughs> like make her belly. <gasps> Wait, that's kind of cute. The little grapefruit belly. What if we add just a little bit of a leaf? <laughs> I think I'm ready to just clean up the outline. Some of these details I don't want with a black outline, so I'm just gonna start in with the color. There she is. She's looking okay. I feel like I like the sketch better, and then I did this to it, and I'm like, uh. I'm just gonna start coloring in the rest of her. There's the first layer of color. Ah, 
I tried to go green with the face, but you can't really see her face now. I'm gonna have to figure out something to make the face a little bit more visible. I mean, I don't know. Is this getting weirder? I kind of like it weird. Maybe I'm liking this a little bit more now. I'm gonna give her some little spots like the outside of a grapefruit would have. This is looking less and less like a mouth and more and more like not a mouth. Should I turn it into a nose maybe? No! No, 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 there we go. I was ruining it. I think I'm just gonna add detail to the pink areas now. The glowing green eyes are kind of weird, but also I kind of like them and I kind of don't want to take them away because they're kind of interesting. Kind of punchy, you know? It's kind of like punch, like a sour punch. Sour punch. Kids, no, Sour Patch Kids. Punchy, Sour Punch. Punch means sour, right? She's punchy, her name's Punchy. Let's allow her to exist on a nice green background. Doesn't punchy also mean dumb? I don't know, I'm dumb. The green took a turn a little bit and I went a lot darker than the packaging green, but there also is something missing in the facial region. Overall, I think that the colors are beautiful and the character is so cute and I really like her. I kind of want to bring her back like as a squishy or something. Do I have a fat cat squishy like this that I could I could turn her into a squishy? Okay. I have chosen a lot of snacks at random, but I think for this one, I actually want to pick a good option. What is this? Sour raspberry gummy skulls. I don't know if I want to do a skull. I will eat them though. Oh, they're supposed to be sour raspberry, but it tastes like sour bubble gum. Rhubarb and custard flavor bonbons. Ooh, I like the colors of these. Tastes really familiar. What does that taste like? Hai chew. It tastes like hai chew. It tastes like you took all the fruits and mixed them up. That's the flavor. Other one that I have my eye on is the milk fudge is. Fudges? Soft milk fudge from Poland. It looks just like caramel. Mm hmm These taste like caramel, but crumbly. I'm gonna choose one of these. Which one should I do? Which one should I do? I'm gonna go with rhubarb and custard. Let's get started on the character. Okay, so I just drew this whole thing and then realized that I forgot to press that little annoying red button that says record. This is the sketch I made. I decided to go with a sock monkey. I look at this and they have like a really dusty look to them. I thought dusty, dusty and crusty, old, worn sock monkey. So I drew my happy little sock monkey. He's kind of dancing, woo, yay. And then I did the outline. I kind of hate it right now. <laughs> I don't like this. It's looking like a clown. I mean, I'm not really terrified of clowns or anything. I just don't like clowns. I kind of resent their attempts to make me laugh. I wanted to make him really happy and goofy. So I gave him like this smiling muzzle situation. I don't know if I hate it enough to redo it or if I should just see if it improves with color. I'm just gonna try. I wanna do, he's so ugly. I'm sorry, okay. I wanna do half and half pink and yellow. This little, tuft leaf thing on his head, I added in honor of the rhubarb. I've never done anything rhubarb themed. I think that's gonna be his name. All right, is that? Mm, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Maybe a little bit of shading will help. That's what he looks like with some basic shading. Um, I'm gonna try adding some texture to him. Ugh, this is so dark and dingy. It looks nothing like the candy. Never mind. No, I don't want this. What if we do like a white texture instead to give it that same like white dustiness? I mean, that definitely makes it look more like the candy. What color background should we do? Packaging has red on it. All right, his name's Rhubarb and he's a dusty monkey. This one is definitely my least favorite. I would not be upset leaving him in the dust. Not to be ironic. He's not the best. But you know what? You win some, you lose some. This was supposed to be like just a fun, casual thing. Whatever. Whatever. That's fine. I'm not suffering inside because of it. You can't see the pain and anguish in my eyes. But still, I enjoyed the process of doing this. You know, overall, this was really fun. It was like a little bit more casual of art than I normally do. I would like to say that I'll come back to this snack box and finish it off in another video. But I cannot say with confidence that this snack box will sit in my art room 
home without being consumed? Will I have the self-control to close this up and just have the knowledge that it's there every day? I got to eat, I got to art. I'm not complaining about anything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Friday. Bye.